One of the questions I get all the time about co-living, and I think, frankly, one of the biggest misconceptions is that, oh, you're going to have a bunch of strangers living together in the home. Uh, it's going to be crazy. And uh, you're going to have all these disputes and everyone up in each other's business. And, and the reality is, look, like humans have been programmed and we've evolved to live together over hundreds of thousands of years. And if you think of any normal public setting, uh, the reality is like, you go to the airport, you don't see fights breaking out just because there are a lot of strangers in one place. Uh, even if you're in the plane and you have a lot of people in a confined space for a long period of time, not to say that it never happens, but it, it happens pretty rarely. And that's true for, uh, for, for living and sharing housing together as well. Uh, the room is truly the, the new apartment. And as any human would, we're, we're kind of programmed for, uh, to, to get along together as well as we can. And when there are any sort of issues, 99 cases out of 100, people work their stuff out. And uh, much like any other animal, uh, we, 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 we fight or we flee. And, and more often than not, we, we flee or we work out our, our issues uh, on our own. And uh, in, in terms of the, the room being the new apartment, uh, people generally stay to their rooms, right? Everybody is looking for a place to stay that is uh, reasonably safe, clean, and quiet. And uh, it just so happens that unfortunately in the economy that we're in, you can't really afford a place to your own in a lot of cases. And so uh, the room truly becomes that new apartment where uh, individuals uh, basically live in their rooms whenever whenever they're at home and not at work. And those, those shared spaces are used very infrequently in the overwhelming majority of cases that that we see across the across the platform and 15,000 or so and, and counting at this point.